This is, this is our version of summer camp for news geeks. So glad you're here. In fact, by the way, uh, you know, you, you might notice if you're walking back and forth, uh, there is a, there's another, you might see strange people in strange costumes. Um, and, and it's not casual Friday at Google, even though that sometimes that's what it looks like at Google. But there's another conference being held nearby, uh, which is uh, of enthusiasts of role-playing games. I think it's called Ropacon. So if you're going back late at night, <laughs> so if you're going back late at night at two o'clock and somebody's coming at you with a scimitar or something like that, you can just blame the alcohol, actually. It's an entirely a hallucination. But no, there is indeed a, a, another conference going on of odd people in costumes. Um, so we have, a, we have a great group of folks here, about 150 of you, um, f representing, I think, pretty much every facet of the, of the, uh, of, of the practice of journalism, uh, from publishers to editors, data scientists, designers, entrepreneurs, researchers, uh, as I said, just about everything from chief executive officers to chief experience officers. There is actually someone here with the title chief experience officer. Excellent. like that a lot. Um, so what I'd like to do before we head on to dinner is, is a couple of things. Is, is first of all, introduce you to the facility here so that you understand where we are. And then talk a little bit about what an unconference is for those of you who aren't familiar so you have some clue as to what you've managed to commit yourself to over the weekend. Uh, I, I do guarantee a good time, guarantee. So a little bit of background first about, uh, uh, about the facility here at Alto University. Uh, this university actually is younger than Newsgeist itself. Uh, Alto University was, was, was actually created in 2010. Uh, but it was created explicitly uh, to pull together a number of, uh, of universities uh, in, in, in cross disciplines. Uh, the Helsinki University of Business, um, the Helsinki University of Technology, and the University of Art and Design. All of them came together now in this one campus. And this specific facility is the Open Innovation House, uh, which is where they bring together students, researchers together with private sector and entrepreneurs uh, to explore everything from smart retailing to cybersecurity um, and try to get new businesses started. Uh, so a highly appropriate venue for the kinds of discussions that we're having uh, this weekend. Um, and I think all of us know that uh, you know, we've been doing, as I think I mentioned, we've been doing Newsgeist uh, in the United States for about six years. It was originally called NewsFoo. We changed the name uh, two years ago. Um, but we've been doing them for about six years. Uh, and as I think all of you know, interestingly, in the business these days, is um, uh, if things aren't changing fast enough, then just wait a minute and things will continue to change even faster. And so that has been true as well with the evolution of the conversations at Newsgeist, uh, whether it's about business models or data journalism, uh, product design. Um, and the, the wonderful thing about it is indeed that we have people here from multifacets. And one thing I would encourage all of you to do is, is to uh, involve yourself in conversations that aren't necessarily to do what you do every day. Um, I remember one reaction from our last event in Phoenix in the fall uh, where an editor told me that he had learned about nine new business models for news. And I thought that was, that was a great accomplishment uh, in all ways, that, that we were seeing new business models for news and that we were seeing both the editorial side get a better understanding of the business side and vice versa. Uh, so I think that's a, a very important aspect of, of what we try to do with these. Okay, so next, how many of you have ever done an unconference? Show of hands. Wow, actually, that's a, a bit more than I, yeah, so about 25 of you, excellent. So how does it work? The whole idea of an unconference, frankly, is just to bring a group of people together who share in a common interest, and in this case, it's the future of news, and bring them together in a, in, in a setting that promotes engaged conversation. Part of that, by the way, is that we operate under something called Chatham House Rules. And Chatham House Rules is really quite simple. It says that anything you learn here over the weekend is yours. Take away, take the information away with you. 
The only thing that we ask you to do is not attribute any statements or notions to any specific individual without them agreeing to that, right? We want people comfortable expressing themselves. And, and if you're here and come saying, you know, we tried this last year and it was, frankly, it just didn't work. I'm not sure others would be, com you'd be comfortable if that all of a sudden was tweeted the next day. Right, so we want to respect each other's uh, confidences such that we can have the kinds of engaged, uh, intimate conversations that I think make these as powerful as they are. So that's the one rule, Chatham House rule, as it were. That, by the way, is not a new idea. I, I learned today via Wikipedia, thank you, Sue, um, that uh, Chatham House rules was actually created by the Royal Institute for International Affairs in 1927. Um, and you can see how we've solved all the world's problems since then, so it must be a really good idea. <laughs> all right, so how does it work? Um, for the most part, Newsgeist is about the sessions. And the sessions are yours to create. So tonight what we're going to do is we'll, you'll see there are going to be little cards or pieces of paper that you can propose a session. What makes a good session? My definition of a great session is to ask a question that you'd like to discuss with others who share that interest, right? That's the objective. It's not to pitch your company. It's not to do a PowerPoint presentation. None of that. In fact, you'll see that where we gather for conversations, there are no projectors. We want people to discuss, not pitch. So that's the idea. Propose the subject, the idea, the question, the problem that you'd like to discuss with a group of others. And it can be anything from business models to storytelling, and I'm sure it'll be all of the above. Uh, so that's the bulk of what Newsgeist is about. Uh, and again, over dinner, we'll, uh, we'll have the forms there. Uh, it's simple. Put the subject of the session. Put your name. But by the way, all your job is, I don't want you to say, gee, I don't want to propose a session because then I'm kind of responsible for something really easy, actually. You propose the session, you walk into the room, you explain why you thought this was a good idea for a session, and you let the conversation flow. All right, so your job at best is to be a moderator of discussion. Pretty straightforward. We'll take all of those ideas, and, and tonight, Chris, who you'll meet, uh, Chris Shipley, who you'll meet shortly, uh, and a few of us will go through all of those proposals and sort of coalesce them and put them on a board uh, such that tomorrow and Sunday morning we'll have six tracks with hour-long sessions, and you get to decide for each track where you want to go, what kind of discussion you'd like to have. Uh, and we've also, frankly, left room. If people want to have side conversations and so on, obviously you can do that as well. So that's the bulk of Newsgeist is the sessions. But there are two other pieces, too, that, that make it a little bit more fun as well. One is Ignite Talks. And the Ignite Talks we're going to do this evening. Uh, and Ignite Talk is a, is a bit of a high wire act of public speaking. Um, is a very strict construct to it. And, and for those of you who have agreed to do Ignite Talks, I, I hope I'm not making you more nervous than you are. Uh, I, I've done these. They, they are an interesting challenge. And the structure of an Ignite Talk is just this. You get to do 20 slides. In fact, you have to do 20 slides. And those slides change automatically every 15 seconds. It's a five-minute talk, 20 slides every 15 seconds. Share your ideas, your thoughts, your hopes, your dreams in that nice freewheeling construct of 20 slides, 15 seconds, five minutes. Have a great time. Be kind to them. It, it really is a trick. If you haven't done it before, I've been public speaking my entire career. Doing Ignite Talks was like a very new and fresh challenge. Fun when you get to do it and figure out how to do it right. But uh, so we are very respectful of folks who have the courage to come up and do an Ignite talk. Last but not least, we try to throw in a bit more fun, and one of the traditions of the NewsFu, Newsgeist unconferences we've had is a late night game that we call Werewolf. It has nothing to do with Ropacon. Nothing at all to do with Ropacon. It's a simple role-playing game. Simple. 
Um, and it, what makes it great fun, I, I'm not going to explain it in detail here. We'll, those of you who want to play, we're going to be playing it back here. Uh, a game tends to consist of about 10 to 20 people. And there's a role assigned to each of the individuals. Some are werewolves, some are villagers. And you basically get to lie and cheat and steal to figure out which is which. That's what it is, right? So it's great because here you are working with people that you know in a professional sphere, and all of a sudden it's in this completely different realm. So, for instance, you get to find out that someone like Sue Gardner over there, Sue Gardner over there, you know, who ran Wikipedia through its entire growth period until last year, who I've always thought of as the Mother Teresa of internet knowledge, and then you play werewolf and you realize that she's Rasputin, right? <laughs> Or you play with someone like Tonic Coke over there, right? Sweet, charming Tonic Coke, cold-eyed killer <laughs> at Werewolf. So if you want to play, have fun. You don't have to. You can also just stand by the side and observe for a bit, and at some point you kick in and have fun with it. Uh, so that's what Newsgeist is. Sessions, discussions uh, for all of us, the Ignite Talks, and then Werewolf for folks late in the evening, and yes, there will be alcohol available, which only makes it more fun.